This is old Cam. And this is Grandma CJ. And we're basically starting our coverage of the, uh, of the Academy Awards with the nominations for the 86th Academy Awards. For the year 2014. Actually, it's for two 2013 awards. But I know, it's but it's being televised in 2014. I know. We have uh, a very politically correct Academy Awards list of nominations this year. You did not want to be something that was positive about the United States there or are the United some, States military. There are some people that should have been in here, notably Tom Hanks. Yeah. Should be in here, but he's and not. And probably here. Mark Wahlberg also, mm -hmm. because he gave one of the great performances, and they basically are critic tearing him apart. So, but um, we have performance by an actor in a leading role. Christian Bell in American Hustle. Bruce Stern in Nebraska. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, we've got Chateau Ejiofor in 12 Years a Slave. And Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club. Right now the favorites are basically Matthew McConaughey and Leonardo DiCaprio. We will because actually... Because they just both received the Golden Globe. Yeah. We will know Sunday. Actually, Sunday morning we'll be able to tell you who's going to get the odds. The odds on favorite will be the one who wins the uh, Screen Actors Guild Award because the same people in the Screen Actors Guild vote for the... The award and the SAG awards are this Saturday. Yeah, yes. and we got here we got performance by an actor in a supporting role. Barkhad Abdi in Captain Phillips. Uh, Bradley Cooper in American Hustle. Michael Fassbender in Twelve Years a Slave. Uh, Jonah Hill in The Wolf of Wall Street. And Jared Leto in Dallas Buyers Club. And the favorites are Jared Leto and uh, uh, Barkhad Abdi in, in Captain Phillips. We will once again be able to tell you which one is the odds on favor. Jared just got a Golden Globe. Uh, I know, but um, the, the, the gentleman, we actually, Barcott, they like, were we actually got to see him because he's basically an odd, really a real, he's a, he is, here's the problem is, he is the complete American success story playing a person that's been victimized by America, according Which means to the movie. he might get it. Yeah. Also, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender is, is somewhat of a favorite because they said that they, he's been, oh, they, they listed him as a favorite because he's been passed over so many times now. But then again, Sometimes Meryl Streep's Street been, has 17 nominations. It said performance by an actress in a leading role. Amy Adams in American Hustle. Kate Blanchett, Blanchett in Blue Jasmine. Sandra Bullock in Gravity. Uh, Judy Dench in Philomena. Meryl Streep in August, Osage County. And they said it's probably going to be Kate Blanchett and Blue Jasmine, even though most of the people agree that Bullock and uh, Jens gave the two best roles. They just, they, you know, it's just the way it is, folks. Mm. No one can explain but it Kate, well. Didn't Kate get the Golden Globe? Yeah, it's got, okay, we're looking at political correctness. Uh, Sandra Bullock is in a movie that basically shows the best of our country. And, um, and Kate Blanchett isn't, so that's the way it's working this year. And then we got performance by an actress in a supporting role. Sally Hawkins in Blue Jasmine. And Jennifer Lawrence in American Hustle. Lupita uh, Nyong in 12 Years a Slave. And Julia Roberts in Aug uh, August Osage County. And June Squibb in Nebraska. They figure it's, uh, it's the young lady from 12 Years a Slave. She's the odds on favorite. Because they've got to give something in that political correctness. They want to give something an acting, yeah. an acting award, an acting award to one of the many black actors that were in the movie. It's a mo okay, hit a good one. It, what's wrong is it's a movie about slavery that they gave white people nominations for. Mm. That sort of you know, but uh, okay, the best animated feature film of the year, which we actually do know which who's actually won it already because we know who's won the animation award. And the Croods, Chris Sanders, Kirk D'Amico, and Kristen Belson. Despicable Me Too, Chris Renoir, Pierre Coffin, and Chris Midori. Ernest and Celestine, Benjamin Renner, and Didier Brunner. Frozen, Chris, Bug, Jennifer Lee, and Peter DeVelco. The Wind Rises, Hayao Miyazaki, and Toshio Suzuki. Okay, Frozen has already won most of the awards from the people that vote on it, so guess what? It also did well at the box office. Yeah, it did. I actually so did which is usually me. Which is usually kind of ironic, because usually if they do really well for awards, they don't necessarily do really well at but the box he, office. Here's a problem with the Oscars this year. Really a big problem is that by the time the Oscars have came around, every major award will have already been handed out by the same people that are voting for the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Because they vote, they vote for Best Picture as a group, 
but they vote for the individual awards as their guilds, and the guild is already set frozen. Mm -hmm. So an achievement in cinematography, the Grand Master Philip Lazul. Gravity Emmanuel Lubex, which they said is going to win. Inside Lewin D Davis, Bruno Delbon. And Nebraska Freedom Amish. Um, I I don't understand. This is General Fay, the um, what's the, the gentleman that does these movies himself, Alexander Christopher Payne. Alexander Payne. He basically is a hands-on. I know it says achievement in cinematography. I would have thought it would have been Alexander. Yeah, and prisoners, Roger A. Deacons. It's basically. Or maybe he just comes up with the idea. Okay, he's, he's the favorite, hands-on favorite, is Gravity. Totally mm -hmm. Gravity. Mm -hmm. uh, achievement in costume design, which is actually going to be sort of simple to figure on this one out too. We don't even have to go any further than the, the great Gatsby, the Christopher Mayhem, Martin. That one's going to win. Hands Catherine. Out. Catherine, yeah. Also, there's American Hustle by Michael Wilkinson. The Grand Master, William Shang Suping. The Invisible Woman, Michael O'Connor. And Twelve Years a Slave by Patricia Norris. But you have to understand, the Great Gatsby is a god-awful, really costume thing. And I didn't realize it's so qualified, um, because that came out a while ago. I was thinking it was last year. No, no it actually came out a long time ago. It did. Remember, it did. It here's the way it really works is, time. if a film doesn't show in a qualifying theater in the city of Los Angeles, this is how... Um, uh, what's the, um, the, 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 the main, mu the, uh, the song from, from um, Limelight by, by uh, Charlie Chaplin won the Academy Award for Best Song for a movie that had been out 40 years earlier because it never ran in Los Angeles. So therefore, even though it was something that had been around for that long, it qualified for an Academy Award because it ran in Los Angeles 40 years later. So, hmm. yeah, achievement in directing. American Hustle, David O. Russell. Uh, Gravity, Alfonso Cuaron. Nebraska, Alexander Payne. Twelve Years a Slave by Steve McQueen. The Wolf of Wall Street, Martin Scorsese. Okay, it's either between The Wolf of Wall Street or Nebraska because Steve McQueen has already got an iffy problem with the Directors Guild. They, um, so it's either Scorsese or Payne. Payne had won twice before, I think. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, but, the, but the, uh, the, every, okay, you look, here's how it works. American Hustle, politically correct. Nebraska, politically correct. Twelve Years a Slave, pretty, pretty uh, Well, Nebraska is black and white. I know, but it's politically correct because it's condemning American mm -hmm. society. So, they, they, like I said, it's Nebraska or, tw or The Wolf of Wall Street. Best documentary feature, which this one's, I don't know about this one. The Act of Killing. Uh, cute and a box, cutie and a boxer. Dirty Wars. The Square. And Twenty Feet from Stardom. I'm assuming that it's probably going to be Dirty Wars because it condemns the United States. Yeah, I know nothing about any of those. But those are some of the things I do know about. Best documentary short subject. Cave Digger. Uh, Facing Fear. Uh, Karama has no walls. The Lady in Number Six music saved my life. Prison Terminal: The Last Days of Private Jack Hall. That one. You can guess. I'll, I'll, I'll put a check mark next to that one. It, it, remember, it's politically correct this year. That condemns our country. Mm. So, achievement in film editing. I think I went down too far. Mm -hmm. There we go. American okay. Hustle. Captain Phillips. Dallas Buyers Club. Gravity. And Twelve Years a Slave. It'd be um, Gravity because Gravity was a god awful massive effects thing. I mean, it's 3D done right. They said so. Mm. I mean, even George Clooney liked the 3D and IMAX on it when he really hates 3D. And best foreign language film of the year? The Broken Circle Breakdown the great from Belgium. Beauty, the Great Beauty from Italy. The Hunt from Denmark. The Missing Picture from Cambodia. Omar from Palestine. I would figure Omar from Palestine because it is carrying on the theme. Mm. And because and what is funny is that we had opportunity to see a lot of the foreign films that were they thought we're going to make it. Not a single one of the movies that we had the opportunity to see is on the list. Not mm -hmm. a one. And they really did a big push this year to get people to come out for them. Achievement in makeup and hairstyling, Dallas Buyers Club. Um, Jack Ash presents Bad Grandpa. I mean, you know that one's not going to happen. <laughs> they do think this one's going to happen, which amazes everybody. The Lone Ranger. They wow. Think, they think that one is going to happen. They think that it's only between the Dallas Buyers Club and the Lone Ranger. The Dallas Buyers Club had a very low budget. The Lone Ranger had a goth off a lot of people they had to do makeup for. So. Uh, yeah, because makeup and hairstyling, that actually could be interesting. Um, and there, I noticed there's only three. 
Yeah, they didn't put like they a. They couldn't find five that qualified. Like the Great and Gatsby. I know I they. Thought. We're talking any okay any a lot of things special effects should have had a lot of makeup on them, but it didn't. So. Mm -hmm. Achievement in music written for a motion picture original score: The Book Thief. Uh, Gravity. Her. Philomena. And Saving Mr. Banks. The odds are once again it's Gravity. Mm -hmm. So. An achievement in music written for motion pictures, original song. Um, alone Yet Not Alone, from Alone Yet Not Alone. Happy, from Despicable Me Too. Uh, Let Go, from Frozen. The Moon Song, from Her. And Original Love, from... Ordinary Man Love. Ordinary Love, from uh, Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. Here's the oddball thing, that Bono and YouTube was given the Golden Globe for... Golden Globe, their song was not selected by the Oscars, which is sort it's of really different. strange. Yeah. Best motion picture of the year. Yeah, the American Hustle. Mm. Captain Phillips. Dallas Buyers Club. Gravity. Her. Nebraska. Uh, Philomena. Twelve Years a Slave. And The Wolf of Wall Street. And uh, we know who won this one, folks. It doesn't take a genius. Anybody that doesn't think that 12 Years a Slave is not going to get Best Picture since it's one Best Picture across the board. That they're giving it Best Picture and not and nothing else. Mm. So that's, you know... I've heard it is very good. Yeah, but so was... Uh, here the trick is, so was The Butler, which got yeah. shut out. When Yeah, The Butler was a favorite until 12 Years a Slave came out. Yeah, and that was what happened. It was a matter of timing. If 12 Years a Slave would have came out first and The Butler second, it would have been The Butler because this is the year of political we got that. Achievement in production design. American Hustle. Gravity. The Great Gatsby. Her. And 12 Years a Slave. It's between The Great Gatsby and Gravity because they're the most complicated things. So one is they, a might, they might do Great Gatsby just because costume there, design. there's much more in it. And Gravity is basically all on a, oh, sound, special, on, effects. On a special effects thing. But the odds are those are the only two movies that count. Here we go. The Best animated short film. Uh, Fetal. Feral. Uh, Feral. Get a Horse. Uh, Mr. Hula. Possessions. And Room on the Broom, which I have no clue on these because I've not seen any of them or heard anything at the moment. So, yeah, best action short film. A Quel No Ario. Avant. That coup, wasn't me. A, a, a avant Coup d'Etat. Which is just before losing everything. Yeah. Helium. Uh, I got, I got, uh, Picasso Mon Kake Ata. Do you, do you have, do I have to take care of everything, which I think is a comedy. Mm -hmm. And the Vorman problem. See, since I've not seen any of these things, I do not know, so I would get the things I do know about. Achievement in sound editing. All is lost. Captain Phillips. Gravity. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. The Lone Survivor. Uh, it's got to be The Hobbit. You know it has to be that, because The Hobbit is god awful, huge film with... I mean, it, it just, it's outdoors, it's indoors, it's everywhere you can think of. And you go with the thing that's the most difficult with these people because they know, I mean, gravity is a soundstage thing. It's all done in one spot. But The Hobbit must have drove people, well, no, we've talked to the people that basically work in those areas. Mm -hmm. And remember they said, I thought we were going to be in a soundstage. Well, this may give you a clue because an achievement in sound mixing has three of the same five, yeah. which is Captain Phillips. Yeah, Gravity. The Hobbit. The Hobbit. Oh, actually, it did have... Oh, wait a minute. We're on the next page. Inside Llewellyn Davis and Lone Survivor. It's got four out Four of, of the same five. Yeah, it will... The, see, they give the Lone... Lone Survivor is a politically incorrect movie. So... And Inside Llewellyn Davis was different versus All is Lost. Yeah. So All is Lost is achievement in sound editing, whereas Llewellyn Davis is... Achievement in sound mixing. Yeah, they thought Llewellyn Davis was going to be big, and it's a it's a, a Coen Brothers movie that didn't fare well. It did well at the box office. I heard it was funny. They thought it was going to get. Here's the problem with Llewellyn Davis. If you bother to watch, um, I think uh, Encore, uh, the cheap you know Encore channels and stuff over on on cable, you're going to see inside Llewellyn Davis in a shorter form. Mm. And there's a bit of problem from day one about. Whether they said, well, it's 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 a, it's not the same movie. Well, yes, it is the same movie, but one is 
But okay, what happens is sometimes they actually shoot movies in a short form or a longer form, and you're getting a longer form, and they, they've got all kinds of problems with nominations on it. And achievement in visual effects, gravity. Uh, the Hobbit. Um, the Iron Man 3. Lone Ranger. Star Trek Into Darkness. Okay, um, is, uh, Hobbit is, un, I, I would say it's been... The Hobbit came out in 4K. I know, the Hobbit came out in 4K. This one's the problem. You're guessing they're going to go for gravity right. because it's, it's because it was a sound stage thing. Iron, because uh, you've got too many people here. These are all, I mean, uh, we've seen The Hobbit, Iron Man, The Lone Ranger, and Star Trek. The only one we didn't see was Gravity, and the one that the one that they're favoring is the one we didn't see. We can guarantee you, uh, we're talking, they're riding on top of a train with them, along with silver and some of those things. I so. know, so maybe, do you think The Lone Ranger has a chance? No. Oh. No, it's got to be one of the others. Adapted screenplay. Well, at least it's getting some nominations. Yeah. Adapted screenplay, Before Midnight. Captain Phillips. Philomena. Twelve Years a Slave. And The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, basically, they, uh, they're looking at probably Twelve Years a Slave. Well, one of the things is Before Midnight is the, three, the third movie in a series. Oh, okay, that's and right. And they actually had They've won actually Oscars. won. These same people won. I forgot. They won the Academy Award for the next one. This but the was, other ones, two this others. This one is already. I think it's two others prior. Yeah. And no, they, but they only give each, they give them the Academy Award for the second one. This is the next one. Oh, this I thought one, they've gotten two. No, they've no, gotten they one. one. This one because they figure they're getting better. Here's the trick: is that this one has actually won awards already before midnight. I will tell you, when I saw that movie, I thought, "Wow, this is amazing dialogue." Yeah, I mean they're. You when think, I saw it. You wouldn't think that a couple of actors could write like that, but then again, so can um, uh, Matthew, you know, M M Mr. Damon and... Um, Matt Damon. Matt Damon and, uh, and Ben Affleck can write. Like, they've got, they got a couple of Oscars for screenplays, for Christ's sake. Which started, those are the first Oscars. Yeah. Original screenplay, American Hustle. Blue Jasmine. Dallas Buyers Club. And her. They know that her. And Nebraska. And Nebraska. They said they know. Oh, that's another one. That is not an. Alexander Payne usually has his thumb on everything. We've met Alexander Payne. Mm -hmm. You know. and But it's, they said it's um, it's uh, her. They, they do like Woody Allen, though. Yeah, but no. And they like I, David Russell. I know, but they, uh, her has won everything. Oh, Spike Jones. Her has won all of the original screenplays everywhere. So uh, I think that's okay. So this is the nominations list with who we think are going to win. S Monday, we can give you a better idea on the actors who will more than likely be the winners. Mm -hmm. Because I think there's like a 94% chance of these people being selected. You know, because there are members, there are people that vote for the Oscars and Best Acting that are not members of the Screen, Act Screenwriters, of Screen Actors Guild because mm -hmm. they're not from the United States. They're like from... They're with BAFTA, they're like with other countries, but they're still um, Academy members. So I think like mm. amount of percentage is just enough to switch it with. So, because last year was an example, um, Tommy, uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones was one, uh, Tommy Lee Jones and Sally Field had won everything, including the Screen Actors Guild Award, and neither one of them won the Oscar. Mm -hmm. So, so we will know. Uh, we can give you a good idea Monday who's going to win the acting awards. Mm -hmm. Until then, this is Old Cam. And this is Grandma's team. <laughs>